ক্যালকাটার স্বনামধন্য অধ্যাপক প্রফেসর এস কে চক্রবর্তীর জীবন এবং ভাবাদর্শ নিয়ে আমাদের ট্রাস্ট একটি ছোট্ট পুস্তিকা প্রস্তুত করেছে এখন সেই পুস্তিকাটি আপনাদের সকলের সামনে প্রকাশ করবেন আমাদের পরম শ্রদ্ধেয় শ্রীমৎ স্বামী সুপর্ণানন্দজি মহারাজ আমি মহারাজকে অনুরোধ করব পুস্তিকাটিকে প্রকাশ করার জন্য সুপর্ণানন্দজি মহারাজকে কিছু বলতে অনুরোধ করি ওম জননী সারদাং দেবী রামকৃষ্ণ জগৎগুরু পাদপদ্মিত শ্রীত্বা প্রণমামি মুহুর্ম So I am glad that uh, I am on the dais to pay my homage to this great soul, great son of our state, Bengal, and of India also, Professor S.K. Chakravarti. I used to know him from the 80s even. He used to visit Narendrapur and his ideas were so ennobling that a few of us became his ardent admirers immediately. Since then, I used to listen to him and also used to read his writings and when he was conducting the Tagore Institute of Management here he used to organize one at least one seminar a year, year itself. And it was imperative that I would have to speak in the inaugural session. Suddenly he left us. It's a great loss for us, no doubt. So I pray for eternal peace <coughs> of the soul that was known to us in the physical form as Professor Eski Chakravarti. Uh, we have <coughs> on the dais Swami Atma Priyanandaji, the Vice Chancellor of Swami Vivekananda University. More than that, he is a great exponent of Vedanta philosophy. His knowledge of Hindu and non-Hindu scriptures is even beyond our imagination. Whenever he speaks, 
we expect that something new something noble we receive and this evening he will be speaking on the vedantic way of life you will all enjoy his speech not only that he will benefit a lot even sankratanjo wanted to form a society based on vedantic principles but the society was not ready and after sankratanjo nobody attempted nobody there ventured that aspect vedanta vedanta vedantic principles should percolate should prevail in our society to what gain he will be expounding mind that and only in this age Swami Vivekananda picked up the issue. His Seva Job, especially, which is, in a way, a big variation of the Kalma Yoga of Sri Krishna as expounded in Bhagavad Gita, requires these Vedantic principles to take root first in the society otherwise there would be many more losses in respect of human endeavors and we cannot bear these losses even that pain is professor is chakra but a lot that's why he decided to give up his job a lucrative job even that's a great sacrifice on his part but professor subit choudhury that time his mentor even he gave him a new direction and the management of values ethos came into being at iim so you can turn over any any of the pages of his book you will come across the central theme as being these values i welcome you all especially professor chakrabarti's family and friends i welcome professor subhi choudhury He has given us a beautiful introduction of today's function. So I have been chosen to be the president of this session. But I feel that when Atma Priyananda Ji is a speaker, there shall not be any other persons ready to comment on his ideas which he delivers that's why it is good that the compere the announcer has asked me to give me 
a better chance, I should say, to speak first. I would just let you know, what do you mean by living in a Vedantic society? In fact, this has to be the creation of a Vedantic society has to be the be all and end all of everybody. Because I say that by all means we have to create a Vedantic society of freedom, a Vedantic society of equity, and a Vedantic society of sacredness of the human personality. These three things. These three things are required or were required by the forerunners of Renaissance several centuries ago. They wanted to build society on the principles of equity, freedom, and fraternity. And their ideas collapsed totally. So that is a big topic. I can I just in I just now introduce this concept. But you have to analyze it yourselves in what way. These three things failed. They could not take root in our society. And there has been nowhere any renaissance unless real freedom, real equity, and real sacredness of human personality are achieved. Equity based on Vedanta. Vedantic equity, Sammo, Sadhinata, and Maitri. Equity is not in bodies. Equity is not in minds. We are all different. Our minds are different. Equity is even not in our intellect. Intellects also differ between man and man. And in a man in different times. So we want to establish equity, but we do not know in where equity rests. Equity is in Atman, spirit. It is all for all. It is one for all. That oneness, that equity. So we have to catch where we are one. This is not in physical body, mental body, intellectual attainment, nowhere. That's why we could not form a society based on equity. We have been struggling all over the world. And freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of this and that, all these are worthless calculations. A real freedom is in us deeply embedded in ourselves. What freedom, Vedantic freedom, what Vedantic freedom is all about? It is just having freedom from the senses, not freedom of the senses. Freedom they hinted at was the freedom of the senses. You give freedom to your senses, 
and enjoy the world. Sense organs. Chukku karno jiva na shikata. Give them free hand. Yes, that's all. Is that freedom? No. Not freedom of the sense, but freedom from the senses. You become the master of your mind. Don't allow mind to have so much of inordinate enjoyments. So, if you give freedom to your sense organs, then you become slave to your mind. That your mind, you are the master of your own mind, that you have to have freedom from the senses. No, they are my servants. And the third one, very much interconnected. It connects. It is the sacredness of the human personality. If that be at the center of your goal, center of your <clears throat> life's attainment, that somewhere we have to become pure. We are all searching for a pure thing. Searching for a pure thing, always. What is pure in, in society? It is not in the outside world. Purity you have to attain. Sacredness, purity. And the personal human life. When that goal is supreme, the other two, freedom, Vedantic concept of freedom and Vedantic concept of Equity would see it to come. This is a big topic. In my humble understanding of the Vedantic way of life, society, society has to be created on Vedantic principles. I understand it this way. And let us see how differently and in a masterly way Ribet Maharaj deals with this most important topic. A topic which revered Professor S.K. Chakraborty so endearingly kept in his bosom. This topic was very, very dear to his heart. We just heard that news from Professor Subit Chaudhuri. With these few words, I choose to <coughs> stop once again. I offer my love, regards, pronounce to each of you, each of you, because you are all. essentially pure Atman Jaiman.